Dear Dairy. <coughs> Dear Dairy. <clears throat> Not quite sure what happened there. I think I hit puberty again. Which could be kind of cool. And could be very, very bad. <laughs> um, welcome to Wednesday. For the next, you know, maybe three, four hours, three hours, three and a, three hours, 40 minutes. We'll call it that. Of course, by the time this gets uploaded and everything else, it'll be two hours away. Anyway, welcome to Wednesday. Um, interesting couple of days, because remember, I recorded the last two episodes, well, the last three episodes on Sunday. Uh, so, Tuesday, yesterday, I decided to stream some Banished, and that went about as well as I thought it would. <laughs> you know, it was actually really fun. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I was very pleased to discover that there is a wonderful, there was a wonderful person in, in, in my, in my Twitch channel there watching me who had lots of advice on how not to get everyone killed. Awesome. Apparently one of my big problems is that I try to set up farms right away. I just presume that farms are a good thing for people who don't want to starve to death. Well, apparently I'm incorrect. Well, I'm not incorrect. I'm just... Apparently, early game, the big thing to do is to put out hunters and gatherers, and they will get venison and leather and onions and mushrooms and berries and roots and all kinds of other neat stuff, and, and you won't have to set up a farm right away. You don't set up farms, apparently, until you, um, you are really starting to try to expand your, your town. Um, so you, you, you just get your, your, your hunters and your gatherers and your fishermen in place and let those go and just stockpile. And then eventually, you know, just plop down a couple more houses. And when you're ready to really expand, then you put in your farms to account for, you know, having extra m mouths to feed. I did not know this. Oh, well, I'll get better at it. I promise. Tomorrow, Thursday. I'm going to be streaming some ESO. For those of you who don't know what that is, where have you been? Um, I mean, if you're watching videos on YouTube, you're clearly on the internet enough that you probably have heard of ESO. You may not realize that it stands for Elder Scrolls Online, but there it is, Elder Scrolls Online. Um, so yeah, I'll be playing that. Um, I was also thinking that you know for Tuesdays and Thursdays other games that I I have that would be neat to to show is to go back and look at like I mean not the way WoW was but to start a new character in WoW and try that out and you know stream that show what it's like to to level a character up from from one but I'm not sure I'm really not sure. I mean, I'm not sure what kind of character I play. I mean, I would be very sorely tempted to play a Worgen or a Torn because those are my two favorite races. Because they're cute, and they've upgraded the Torn models recently. So my understanding is that, um... I mean, now they look like you could brush them because they have, you know, a much, uh, much more defined fur texture and whatnot. And I, <laughs> I mentioned that to somebody. Um... The other day, I said, you know, you just want to, they look like you just, you just want to brush them with your face, <laughs> you know, because you, before you take that the wrong way, what I mean is just kind of you walk up, it's, it's like if you were to walk up to a, a bear, well, maybe not a bear, because some bears really don't smell very good. I don't mean the human bears, although, no, but I mean real bears, um, but let's say, like, you know, a tiger, you know, or a cougar. You know, some big, fluffy animal that you just want to walk up to and go, you know, and just rub your face in their fur because they're so fluffy. And you just, Neh. what? Leave me alone. That would have been the perfect time for Chazels to walk in. There's <laughs> uh, one of our friends, 
who his name is is Chazels. He's in the living room with with my housemate watching uh, Rick and Morty, I think. But um, he's wearing his costume, which I suppose I could show you a picture of. It looks like this. Very cute. Oh my god. Very cute. Um, so that that's the sort of situation where you just want to put your face and just brr, 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 kind of thing. Um, he's kind of a big saber tooth tiger guy. Um, anyway, um, very, very cute. Uh, in fact, he, he was in here. He was looking at my, my computer where I usually on this monitor, <clears throat> I usually have a uh, tweet deck, which is monitoring my, my, uh, Twitter account and everything. He's like, my God, that's a lot of words. <laughs> Because it's like it's like six columns of different things. I'm like, yeah, no. Um, and then over on this monitor, I've got I'm watching my friend uh, character Zero. He's playing. Um, well, right now he's taking a break, but he's playing faster than light. He's playing it on like the ultra hard difficulty, and trying to unlock all the ships. Everything is he usually does pretty good. He just got blown up a few minutes ago, so he's taking a break right now. Anyway, um, so today. I was doing a lot of, um, uh, you know, voiceover auditions and whatnot. And the guys who asked me to do the, um, uh, the Beyond Skyrim calipers, uh, April Fool's mod for Skyrim, uh, one of them was like, you know, when, when you have some time later on this evening, can I talk to you about, you know, maybe doing a, a, another voice of another character? I'm like, yeah, sure. No problem. Yeah, whatever. And so, he uh, he and I spent, it was probably about 4 or 5 o'clock, 4 or 5 p.m. my time here in California, that we started talking about it. And uh, it was it was a lot of fun. And hopefully, hopefully we could do that, because that would be awesome. Just reading the character with him was, was very, very cool. And I had to be careful, because if I got, you know, really, you know, um, really loud and expressive and like like not quite shouting but you know very projecting kind of thing i started to sound like shea gora in the <laughs> and the thing is like nope it's, it's peeking out just a little bit a little bit of shea gora coming out there so he said that if i do wind up because they're not certain they're going to cast me as this character but he said that if i do wind up recording this thing that anytime i flub and i and i screw up a line then I have to basically kind of go into this Tourette's thing and look, cheese, like like um, Shea Gorath would, which is very amusing, very amusing. Oh, there's a there's a hashtag um, war going on for uh, midnight the the show at midnight. Um, and every day they do well not every day because obviously it's not Saturday and Sunday they do hashtag wars where they come up with some idea like, like, you know, sultry crime bosses or the one for today is gangster musicals. And, um, the one that I put in was, uh, pop a cap on a hot tin roof. So that was my, that was my offering for the gangster musical. Um, anyway, um, we're closing in on nine minutes. I don't have a whole lot else to talk about. Most of today was just, um, you know, auditions and, uh, um, well, auditions, really. And, you know, kind of, you know, hugging a, a, a big anthropomorphic saber-toothed tiger. So I will let you guys go, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, be sure to, if you want, if you have a chance, from noon to 3 p.m. for um, California time, which is GMT minus seven, maybe GMT minus eight, one of those two. Um, I will be streaming Elder Scrolls online, so be sure to come to my Twitch channel, which I will leave a link below. Come and check that out. And until next time, be careless.